So today I have the empties video to conquer all empties videos. I have so many freaking products, it is ridiculous to show you. Um, these are products that like I used before I left for school, but when I came home I just decided I was on like a mission to finish all of these stupid products that I just had laying around and I was just wasting them because they were just sitting there. So I decided to film to finish them all. So first things first. I finished like six or seven of these deep action cream cleansers by um, Clean and Clear. I love these. These are my favorite, one of my favorite drugstore cleansers. Um, I just have a bunch of the travel sizes because my mom got them from her job and she knows that she knows that I like them, so I just have like a bunch of them. So I decided to just keep using them until I run out of them. And I'm not gonna buy a full size until I run out of all my travel size, but I will be purchasing a full size. Next thing is this BioTrue um, contact solution. I only have like one or two more times to use this and I'm probably, I'm going to use it up before I leave. So I thought I would just throw it in here. It's the only contact solution I really ever use. I like it. It's what my eye doctor told me to use. It doesn't irritate my eyes and it doesn't dry them out. So yeah. Next thing is this oil-free eye makeup remover, which I don't really know why they say this is oil-free because I do think it has like an oil in it kind of because like I have to shake it first of all because it like separates and then second of all it does kind of leave like an oily residue but I like it. It's the off-brand. It's compared to the Neutrogena one. I had the Neutrogena one before I had this one and I think they work just the same so I'm going to save the money and buy this one. So yes, I would repurchase. The next thing is the Suave Ocean Breeze body wash. I liked it. It wasn't anything special. I didn't really notice it moisturizing my skin, so I probably won't repurchase this unless I'm in a pinch. But I did like the scent. It did smell good. And I like that it was blue. So yeah. The next thing is this Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm actually going to use the last of this in the shower today. I've had this for forever. It lasted me, like, I want to say almost four months. The thing is huge. You get, like... 18 ounces and I, this is like the best sugar to like cream or like whatever it's holding it together ratio that I've ever tried in a scrub because it's like not abrasive but like it's gonna get the dead skin off and I really do notice a difference when I use this and I've missed this like I couldn't figure out why my skin was looking kind of dull when I was at school because I didn't have this and so I'm gonna go buy one when I get down there so I would repurchase this and it smells freaking amazing. The next thing is this um, Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Conditioner. I finished this shampoo a long time ago. It might have been in my last empties because I always go through shampoo way faster than I go through conditioner. But I like this. Will I repurchase it? Probably not just because I didn't notice that big of a difference. But it was good. I think I can get it at Sally's. The next thing I finished is this EOS lip balm. I liked it. It was the um, fruit punt kind. It was really cute. I love it. I'm probably going to repurchase this one and the sweet mint ones. The next thing that I finished is this Dove body soap. It's the Go Fresh Cool Moisturize Moisture Cucumber and Greeting scent. I like this. I use Dove soap on a regular. I have the like shea butter one at school. And I'm working on that one, but I have like the huge one. This is like the medium sized one. And I like it. The scent was good, I think. Yeah, the scent was nice. It wasn't anything. It was just kind of refreshing. What that I got on my sweater. Will I repurchase it? Probably in a different scent, but yes. The next thing is this Suave um, Touchable Finish Hairspray. I freaking love this. I have like a little tiny bit left, and I'm praying to goodness it'll last me until I leave. Which I the only thing I need to use hairspray on my hair like maybe once or twice more so it'll probably last me but it is the best hairspray I have tried in so long. I've had this for forever. It's better than my high end ones. It doesn't make my hair crunchy. It lets my hair fall but like in like a natural way. Like it's still like going to let my hair fall a little bit. Um, but it's gonna like hold my hair. Like if I curl my hair like tight and I spray it on it it's going to hold it all day but it's gonna let it like fall into a natural look and then it's kind of like gonna set and hold it there I don't know how to explain it but it's like freaking amazing and it's like three dollars so I will be repurchasing this probably I've actually gone through like two or three of those so the next thing I have is this edge 
um, sensitive skin with aloe shave gel. I think this is for men's faces, but I use it for my legs just because it was the only sample, like travel size one that they had at Target when I went and I needed one because I'm only here for like a couple months, like a month. So I needed one just to last me. So yeah, I liked it. It was good. The next thing is this Be Enchanted Body Cream. I use this up. It doesn't look like I use it up just because I like unsquished it because it was was looking pretty shabby because I had like squeezed the living daylights out of it but it smells really good from what I can tell I don't like it wasn't my favorite scent I probably won't repurchase this scent but I definitely will repurchase this formula because it is one of my favorite formulas the next thing I finished is this in root conditioning treatment mask which is why I bought the L'Oreal one that I featured in my haul I liked this um, I think it did a great job. I am planning to go back to this. I plan on alternating the L'Oreal one and this one because I find they're the same. But I was starting to notice the like last two times that I used this, it wasn't as moisturizing to my hair. And I think it's because my hair was getting used to it. So I plan on like alternating the L'Oreal one and this one. I really, 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 really like this though. Um, the next thing is this OMG deodorant. It's from Degree. It's for girls. I really liked it. This was a sample size because I ran out of my deodorant that I brought home that was almost done. And I don't know where it is or else I would mention it. It was the Dove Blue Fig and something else. Blossom. That It was that one. I liked that one. And I like this one and I might actually repurchase this in a big size. So keeping going with the body care. This one, oh, I actually have some left. I'll probably use this in the shower tonight. It didn't look like I had any more left. But this is the Sparkling Blackberry Woods. It's by Bath & Body Works. I'm not crazy about the scent. I was when I first bought it, but I'm like not anymore. But I do plan on like using this up. Um, will I repurchase the shower gel? Probably not because I don't notice that it lasts that long. And I think for like $10, $11, I could get a better shower gel that's going to moisturize me better and just use the lotion and the spray if I really wanted the scent. The next thing I use is this Oasis, Oasis, I don't know, um, it's a rubber, rough rubber texture paste thing and I used it up and I didn't really use this for intended purpose, you're supposed to put it in your hair and then like blow dry it or let it air dry and it's supposed to like give you a bunch of texture and volume but I didn't really notice that it did this, what I ended up doing using this for is I ended up using this to control my edges like an, as an edge control product and it worked pretty well for that but I'm not paying $13 for it. I got sent this by Influencer and so I wasn't really crazy about it. The next is another lotion. It's this Drenched in Pink um, Fresh and Clean. You can tell I've had this for forever because I don't even have this packaging anymore. I liked it. The scent's pretty nice but I'd rather have warm and cozy now. Um, it was a good lotion. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, because I, but I would repurchase it in a different scent. The next thing is another lotion. I know, I swear, I got this, I got home and my skin was really dry. It's the Vaseline Total Moisture Aloe Fresh one. I liked this. It did smell weird. It didn't really smell weird. It didn't really smell like anything. I might try the Cocoa Butter one next, but I really do like this. Okay, I swear, I think this is, I have two more lotions and then I'm done. This one I didn't blow back up for you. It's the Midnight Pomegranate, but I was almost out of this when I came home. Um, it's the Triple Body Cream. I like this. I probably would purchase it in a different scent, but I like the scent too. The next is the last lotion, I swear. It's the Essence of Beauty Smart Sparkling Grapefruit Body Cream. Oh my lanta, this smells so good. I used the heck out of this one. Like There is nothing left. I scraped this thing clean. It smells so clean and like fresh. I'm completely obsessed with the scent. I have yet to find it again because I got this so long ago. But I'm on the hunt for this for summer because this smells so freaking amazing. If you know where to get a good grapefruit scent, let me know. Speaking of grapefruit, this is my Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash. And it's in pink grapefruit. It's a foamy scrub. Hated this. I used it up just because I bought it and I felt like I needed to use it up. But, like, it was so hard to wash off my skin. It was ridiculous. Like, I would, just, like, 20 minutes later, I would, like, rub my face, and I would still find the little grit thing, like, all over my face. And I didn't think it cleared up my skin. It actually kind of broke me out a little bit towards the end because, like, I couldn't get it off my skin well enough. I was not a fan. 
Another skincare favorite is, well, this is actually a favorite. This is the RX for brown skin. It's the Ultra Gentle Toner. It's for the Bright and Healthy line. It had like a little um, like spray nozzle. I liked this. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase because this was my like the favorite thing of the line. And I found another toner by Clean and Clear that I liked. And I wouldn't want to rebuy the whole line just for the toner. Um, oh, this is the deodorant I was talking about. It's the Degree for Women. Or no, this isn't. This is another deodorant that I used up. It's the Degree for Women. It's the like shower clean scent. It's an invisible solid. I probably would not repurchase this because I felt like it didn't really work that well for me. So the next thing. Oh, I have another Clean and Clear Deep Repair. I mean, not Deep Repair. Um, Deep Cleanser. Then I have this Ulta... Um, moisturizer I got this in like a little sample pouch and I actually liked it it was actually a really good moisturizer um it was better in the summertime I used it this summer and then like I left it here and I picked it back up because I like just wanted to use it up and it didn't really do much for my skin in the winter but for the summer it was a nice light moisturizer um the next thing is the Maybelline the rocket it has like a what type of brush does it have Oh, I actually like these type of brushes just because, like, they're just short and pointy. Um, the wand doesn't really bend that much. It bends a little bit, but not much. I didn't really like this mascara just purely because of the, it was so hard to get off. I just wasn't crazy about how hard it was to get off. And this isn't even in the waterproof version. So I'm kind of scared to try the waterproof version. The next thing is this um, pink lemonade... Um, Revlon lip butter and I have a little bit left it was just a really light like baby pink color and I'm like scraping this out with my pinky I don't think I would repurchase this I liked the lip butters don't get me wrong but I wasn't crazy about the color I just kind of used it up I use it more as like a color just to use in the house because I just feel like it didn't really look that great on my skin tone. But I applied it once it like showed up almost clear so I used it that way. And then the last two things I have are both body sprays from my, um, my Bath and Body Works. And they're both the Carried Away. Um, I used to be obsessed with this scent. I'm not really that crazy about it anymore. If you can't tell I go through phases with scents. But um, I used up the whole big one and a travel size. And I liked it. I have other ones of these. I probably would repurchase this spray just because... It's a nice body mist. And that is all of my empties, I think. Unless I left something, and I probably did leave something out. But it's not that important, obviously. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be in my Atlanta background. I'm not quite sure, but I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.